Is that something that you take personally? I mean, yeah, I just, you know, I feel I'm the best point guard in the country. Uh, you know, those are the star what they are, though, but, uh, you know, I've been dealing with that type of stuff my whole life. Uh, it honestly is, uh, it makes me the reason why I am the way I am. Uh, it gives me that competitive edge, so, you know, it's just more fuel going into the tournament. Um, Chris just talked about um, the advantages to playing a team that you don't play all season. You know, in the Big Ten, you guys all know each other. Scouting is, is great. Um, so what are those advantages going into a game where, um, you know, a team hasn't seen you? Yeah, I mean, you know, the coaches, the coaches all know each other in the Big Ten. So, you know, like you said, we're playing each other all the time. Uh, you know, the advantages of going against a team who doesn't know you, you know, your, your stuff is going to work a lot more. Uh, you know, when, when you're in the league play, it comes down to a lot of, like, just drive and, and playing off and just having to make a play at the end. And, uh, you know, it's still going to be moments like this in, in, in the tournament games, but, you know, just not having that uh, familiarness with, with, with players individually, uh, you know, it's going to be – that's, that's the advantage. You talked about your leadership. Do you feel like you get more of a sense of year, knowing this is your last time? Yeah, I mean – uh, I feel like every year has been the same. Uh, you know, if, if we want to accomplish what we do, you know, which is getting to the next round, you know, we got to take care of business. So uh, I've just been trying to do a great job of letting the team know that uh, if we want to do what we say, then, you know, we're going to have to go out there and, and work our butt. So the tournament can be overwhelming. So what's the value in, you know, you and some of the other guys having been there last year, getting there, knowing the real team, maybe not being overwhelmed by that moment? Yeah, so, uh, you know, just – it's just all about being poised in the situations. You know, it's going to be a really, really cool uh, environment, uh, new, new to some. Uh, but like you said, we got older guys who've been there before. So, you know, I think it's just our job to, you know, uh, maneuver the young guys through through the process and let them know how it's going to be and you know what to expect. Uh, but I don't think you need to be nervous or anything. Uh, it's all fun, you know. It's one of the best times of the year. It's March, uh, so you know you just go go out there and play as hard as you can. That's what I just keep saying. You still got that wrap on your left hand and wrist. Is that impacting your play right now? I mean, no, I don't, I don't feel like it's impacting my play. I mean, you guys, I don't know what you guys think, but. I just want to make sure yeah. that. What, what conversations have you had with Ryan? Sweet 16 last year for him. He's obviously brought a new level of experience as well. What conversations have you had with him personally? Yeah, I mean, our conversation, you know, trying to get this team uh, back to where he was last year, you know, he was able to accomplish some amazing things. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we've just been talking about, you know, we have the pieces and, and the tools and talent uh, to do it. You know, we're just going to have to go out there and, and, and go out there and just play hard, as hard as we can and leave it all on the line. This team, this team takes its cues from you. What's been your message to them since Selection Sunday is getting prepared? Yeah, so my message has just been, you know, you can't get too caught up into the media, you know, this time of year, you know, everyone's looking at brackets, we're talking about teams, you know, uh, reigning champions or whatnot, and, you know, you just got to really look at, look at it, it was one, one game at a time, you know, you don't know who you're going to play the next round anyway, even though you may have assumptions, but, you know, anything can happen, and you're just going to have to come out every game, you know, everyone's record is zero and zero, so no record, no seed, none of that matters, you know, just coming out and whoever's whoever's more ready to play is going to advance. So that's the message. Matt isn't available, but we heard he's driving to New York right now. What does um, that do for the team, knowing you've got a teammate that's willing to do that? Yeah, I mean, it just shows our brotherhood. Uh, you know, it shows the culture we have. Uh, you know, it sucks that Matt won't be able to play, but, uh, you know, he's going to be there with us in spirit. Uh, he's one of our leaders, and, you know, he just does a great job of using his voice on the bench. Uh, and it just shows, you know, how special uh, and how special this place is to him and how much it means to him, how much he cares. And, you know, that's just the culture we've been trying to build over the last couple of years. What have you Thanks, seen? Thanks. 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 A little bit different this year being a starter and going to the tournament than it did last year in that more of the super six man role? Uh, I think it might feel a little different, but ultimately it's kind of the same. Just, um, you know, it's a blessing. Uh, it's every kid's dream. You pick up a basketball, you dream of playing in Mars, playing in this tournament. So I'd definitely say it's a little different, but that same, like, kind of sweet feeling is still there for sure. What's the value in the experience of Mars? Yeah, it's, it's huge just because we've been there before, especially uh, the core of this team has been there before. Even, you know, a guy like Ryan, he was, you know, 
probably everybody's kind of sweetheart player in the tournament last year. So we all have a little experience in the tournament. So hopefully it'll, you know, help us come Friday night. What's your thoughts on FAU and just the challenge that they present? Yeah, I mean, a really good team. You know, they were there last year. Everybody knows we into the Final Four. Uh, it's going to be a really fun game. You know, they play really fast. Uh, they're really well coached. So it's definitely going to be a challenge, but it'll be a fun challenge. Um, Chris talked about just the difference between the tournament and obviously the regular season and when you're going up against Big Ten opponents. You guys know each other. You know what to expect. Um, what is both, like, the challenge in, in facing an opponent that even the best scouting report you're not going to fully know and also the advantage of that? Yeah, I think um, uh, with the new matchup and stuff, what really helps is like these four days, especially because we play Friday. It's a little, it's a day later, so you kind of get another day to kind of scout and get to know them a little bit. But like you said, you know, we haven't played any of these teams really before, so you know, maybe they don't know, you know, a, a whole lot about you, and uh, they have the same challenge of trying to get ready for you in four days. So it's kind of like when you get out there, it's kind of, you know, it's almost like who plays the hardest and who wants it more. So that's why you know March is super fun. And go ahead. Yeah, you know, we've been through a lot this season, but I think it just makes this moment, you know, even sweeter that we got here and we kind of weathered, you know, the storms of the season. And, uh, you know, we're super close because of all that. And, uh, we really just want to go out there Friday night and win for each other. You and Lou are both in the top 15 in NCAA and minutes played. You're about to have one game in the last, like, two weeks before this. How important has that rest been for you guys? Yeah, I think it's been huge just to, um, you know, kind of regroup, come back, get to practice, and get our legs back and just, you know, kind of go, you know, all out for this last game. So it's been really good to have this rest. And, you know, not just for me and Boo, but for everybody kind of get their minds right, bodies right to go into, you know, these wars that happen in March. Living with Ryan, have you had any opportunities to talk to him about his run and kind of just compile your experience to get ready for this game? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's like a couple of nights, like, you know, when we're not doing anything, we'll just throw in like his old games from the tournament last year and just kind of like talk about it, joke about it. But yeah, just uh, learning from him uh, last year, just kind of his mindset going into that uh, year last year and that run and just kind of where his mind was at. It's really cool to just kind of try to relate that to, you know, everybody else on our team and just kind of go, uh, you know, from there. Brooks, what makes March so special to you? Just kind of the aura of March. Yeah, I think March is so special just because, kind of like I uh, hit on earlier, but like any kid that picks up a ball dreams of playing in March. And I remember like, just from being a super young kid, uh, every March I'll just throw the games on, and then you know the moves that you see somebody make, uh, I would just kind of go on a nerf hoop and try to make the same move, and so it's just the you know memories like that that are just so special about March. Now to be playing in it, such a blessing. Um, Matt's not available. What um, I guess is your guys' conversation with him as, as a teammate, and then just also what's the value he's going to have to bring just from the bench? Yeah, his value is. Um, it's still super high and just to speak on Matt's character he's actually on the way there right now but he's driving because he can't fly because of his surgery so just somebody do that um, you know it just kind of shows you know the characters of the guys on this team but you know his role is going to still be huge uh, you know he's just like Ty has been super vocal just being a leader for guys to come out of the game you know kind of sharing his insights on what he sees in the game it's going to be you know massive for our team. He's driving from Chicago? Yep he's driving with his mom. Yeah, oh, thanks, bro. Thanks, guys. Yeah.